cut de gras. You know, like Mardi Gras, except cut the grass. Okay. Well, I came out to help Cheryl for a minute in the garden, pulling out some weeds and whatnot. But the bugs were eating her up, so she had to run inside. There's still some work to be done in here, but I've uncovered two rows of carrots that were getting covered up by, what do they call it? Eye bane. A bane to the eyes. And I agree with that. It's all out there in the grass now. I'll run over it with the lawnmower maybe tomorrow. There's still a lot of work to be done down this little bit here. The main garden itself looks much better. We have tiny little carrots growing in there now. Now that they get some sunlight, hopefully they'll do better. I've been pretty careful what I pull out and what I don't pull out. Some of these plants, I'm not exactly sure what they are, so I'll let Ryan pull them if he wants them out. But here's his black carrots. You can actually see them now. All the iodine and horse nettle and stuff like that is out of there. And I stirred up the ant farm here. They didn't seem too happy when I started stirring around in the dirt there. So a little bit cleaner. Some of the things we keep. This wild lettuce here in with the carrots. That's good for painkiller medicine and stuff like that. I think Ryan kind of drowned out his peas with the carrots because the peas are sort of dying off here. Got them maybe a little bit too close together or something. So anyway, it's better.
for our little shooting range is down behind the sawmill. I don't know how much it needs to be cut. I'll probably just give it a quick one. Set you up over here. Yeah, I'll just give it a quick buzz in here, take down some of those tall things. Ryan had cut this some time ago. He hasn't done anything with it yet. I'm not exactly sure what he had in mind. But I cut back in here. I knocked this all down a while ago. Oh my goodness. Look at all our little raspberries. They're gonna be ripe soon. Raspberries or no, these are blackberries, sorry. Mm, tasty. But anyway, I mowed back here, keep the grass away from our uh, pear trees. So one day we will sell these trees for a lot of money. People use them to make high value instruments like violins and guitars and stuff like that. And we cut back through here and put up some flags just so that our uh, neighbor friend who takes hay off the land here so that he doesn't mow down our elderberries in here. I can see why he cut it down before. It's pretty hard to tell what's in here. But there are elderberries in here. And that, folks, is what it takes to mow the grass on the farm. I haven't got the trimmer out. There are certain areas where I go around and get rid of some of the extra grass up along the edge of the shop there and up along the top of the parking area here. Stuff like that around the garden fence. That's about it. The dogs haven't eaten and the sun is behind the ridge so that means it's about 7.30. I understand why Lacey's been nagging me. So, did you find a stick, Lacey? Where is that stick? There it is. You found it. Oh, that's a good stick, isn't it? Well, I'm in the garden here. Uh, it's Father's Day. But I've been called in for special duty because the deer have been in our garden and nipped the crowns off of our broccoli. That's not a happy thing. So we're gonna finish getting the rest of the fence put up around here. We're missing a fair amount, but now that we kind of have an idea how to do this, we should be able to get through it fairly quickly, so. Yeah, it wouldn't upset me if it was actually, you know, for the deer's necessity, but as you can see, the other broccoli are fine. So it was literally just cherry picking the nice heart that was starting to form. Yep, they're eating the candy. So that's our task today is to finish wiring in the fence. Hopefully that'll keep them out. Well, something happened when I hit the record button. It recorded one frame. I don't know why it only recorded one frame, but we now have wire all the way around the whole garden. Didn't really take all that long. 
maybe a couple of hours or so, or an hour maybe, I don't know. I haven't looked at the clock. This side of the fence is really janky because we had to drive into rock and we're so close to the edge of the dirt here. But it's up and it's sturdy enough that any deer that decide to do some mountain climbing along here will have some difficulty. All of the fence is tied in to the posts. The only thing left to do now is we've got one old fence post that we salvaged from on the other side of the creek. I pulled it out just to see if I could by myself. It was hard work. <laughs> that was last year, but anyway. That will be the post for our gate. So down here, it sits on this little arrow guy. And this piece of fence here will wrap around this old post. And uh, all we need to do is just use carabiners or something to hold these two posts together. Whatever kind of mechanism we get. We just need those two posts to stay together and we will have a gate and everything will be fenced in well. And we've even got a little bit of wire here if we find that critters are getting in through that hole. There's a couple other places where the fence is up off the ground. So if we can find little critters getting in, or maybe even if we don't, I'll just take the tractor and dump a little bit of clay along the bottom so that it's built up to the bottom of the fence. If somebody digs under, at least we'll be able to see that. So that's it. We now have a reasonably secure garden. No more deer stealing our food. Hopefully no little critters either. It's okay. But, but, but it's so hard. I got tissue for you. Mm -hmm. Here, I can use it first. The posts have been driven. <laughs> You're so thoughtful. Ryan's little Smurf tomato plant is doing well. We have some nice little blue or black cherry tomatoes. Yeah, I'm actually really considering mulching the side. These guys too. 